I'd like to note that the city is carefully planning for current, its current and future citizens and that the growth modeling framework will help council to model and to assess how it invests revenues for sustainable Edmonton. We've identified the information, data and documentation needed for the project scope. We've already begun seeking input from internal and external stakeholders, as I have previously mentioned, particularly the Urban Development Institute, the Infill Development Edmonton Association, the school boards for the City of Edmonton, EPCOR and ATCO. Connecting all the areas in Amin who also forecast growth as well and then developing a short-term action plan. As we arrive at a population of over a million people, which we will in a couple of years, I think, um, we are going to be attracting more investment, hopefully. Um, but that's why we also have to think in terms of that potential other policy lever we might pull is uh, what collaboration can we do with the region to be able to generate uh, more investment and what kind of economic development plan has to happen uh, concurrently with both the city and our neighbours in the region. So that's the trajectory we're currently on is business as usual. And if we wanted to be different from business as usual, what are the things that we could we could test out and what kind of gains or yields would they generate in terms of minimizing our footprint, uh, lowering our costs in terms of infrastructure investment, um, and not to be forgotten are some of the health outcomes. Um, if we were to re reduce people's travel time relative to their commute f to and from work, they're spending less time in a vehicle or maybe even in transit, they're spending less money for that purpose. Um, you know, there's studies that, that indicate that people, in terms of all of that commute, also experience more stress, etc. So, um, there are a number of lenses we can look at as well. We can look at an economic one, we can look at a social one, we can look at an environmental one in terms of this modeling and what outcomes we want to drive to.